Hi, it's Ted from The Devils in the Detail. This week we've got Ian's lovely CLK350 Mercedes in. Uh, it's going to receive a two stage polish and nice clean up and a nice coat of sealant. The wheels, lovely uh, concave wheels, uh, have seen better days think they've had a bit of the roadside washing equipment so I want to try and get these up a bit nicer and give them a little bit of a polish for him uh, since he's a member of our page I want to give him a little bit more uh, for his loyalty but the car itself is in uh, nice condition and uh, sometimes you get a car that you think well are we going to improve it but we know we are so it's going to get a little bit of love um, and I suppose uh, I'll, I'm going to try and follow as much of it uh, doing the job as I can so that Ian can watch it. So I'll be starting shortly, I'm just going to give the interior a bit of a clean uh, before we actually start uh, on the paintwork preparation. I'll see you a little bit later. Here's a 50-50 of these uh, lovely carpet sets. And here's one that we've uh, cleaned, ready to go back in the car. Get on and do this one now. Well, we'll start on the outside now. One of the major things I want to do with this car is try and get these wheels back to uh, resembling what they must have looked like when they was bought. The a aluminium has died a little bit because of acid wheel cleaner. So, shortly I shall start um, trying to decontaminate them as much as I can so that I can give them a bit of a polish later on but um, I'm going to get a coat of snow foam on the car and then I'll start on the wheels while that's dwelling and um, get the wheels clean at least before I start actually prepping the paintwork see you in a bit
I'm using these wheel woolies. We've got different sizes. This enables us to clean the barrels of the wheels all the way to the back without removing the wheels. So I'm going to crack on, do the first initial clean of the wheels and then we'll put some uh, metal detector on it. I'll see you in a minute. I've given the wheels a good clean and I've coated the wheels with iron X. I've left it to dwell for about four minutes and there's very very little filings that are showing up. While I was at it I put the iron X on the wing to find the metal filings and that's Although it's showing a little bit, it's not as bad as I'd have expected it to be. So, uh, it shouldn't be too bad getting all the contamination off this car. So I'm going to crack on and get the rest of the wheels done. And then we'll Lion X the car, the paintwork, get rid of that. See if we can find any uh, spots of tar or anything and uh, we'll remove them as well before the polishing starts tomorrow but it's all uh, it's all good the wheels I expected to be worse than they are but uh, like I say the car's been looked after it's a nice car so uh, not too bad at all so I'm going to crack on and get the wheels clean now. I'll see it a bit later. Right, after spending about an hour doing all four wheels, I've just rinsed it down and put the last coat of snow foam on before we wash it. So I'm going to let this dwell now, five minutes, and uh, then I'll start washing the car. And then we can get to all the nitty gritty, the tar spots, uh, metal particles, and all that sort of stuff. So I'll see ya when I've washed the car. And I've coated the car in iron X and uh, I don't know whether you can see it's started to rain now so it's actually uh, running off the car yeah, let's see that's better you could see what's happening so, there's little bits it isn't too bad though I had a lot worse recently than this Uh, well, I'm going to leave this for another five minutes to eat away and then rinse it off. But uh, I'm getting closer. Starting to look uh, nice. It is a nice car. It looks like it's been well looked after. Not too much rubbish on the, on the paint. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to polishing it now. See you on the next one. Well the car's all clean and uh, just dried it all down um, and with the rain outside I've brought it in. Now we can have a quick look and see the sort of uh, swirling. There's nothing really too bad, you know it's just your general um, wash swirling. The whole car in general seems to have been looked after pretty well for its age but um, let's just see if I can capture some of the uh, you can see the flaring in the light just general wash swirls really
couple of uh, heavier scratches around the door to uh, contend with. But uh, in general, it's not too bad. I've seen a lot worse. I'll polish the uh, headlights up and the rear lights while we're at it, make them look a bit clearer. The headlights and the rear lights are a good indication of what is going to be on the paintwork because they've been washed exactly the same as the rest of the car has. So generally you can tell by the lights what you've got to contend with when you're doing the paintwork and especially silvers, you know, they're more difficult to see scratches and the way that the light reflects off it, it's uh, especially for my crap camera skills we're not going to see a lot but I'll put it in the light room tomorrow there's a scratch down there quite uh, distinct I don't know whether I can see if I can't get it just I don't know if you can see there's one there I notice there's a couple more on that door um, but now it oh It'll be all right. The trouble with silvers, of course, like I said before, it's hard to make them look any different. Uh, what I'm hoping to do is now the wheels are lovely and clean, is tomorrow I'll blow dry them, make sure they're all dry, and I'll polish the faces up um, where the diamond cutting is, because they've gone very dull. See if we can't give them some sparkle again. And, um, you know, that makes a difference to the car when, when it's done. So there we have it for today, and I'll be back tomorrow. So, I'll see you then. Before I finish tonight, I thought I'd have uh, a little go, see if I could get the wheels up. So, that's what the wheels that I haven't done looks like and this is the one that I've started to do and as you can see there's a massive difference They look dull and lacklustre. And these have now got some nice gloss. Makes a nice difference. Should look nice when they're finished. Well, I've just done a test panel to work out what combo I'm going to use for this uh, polish and I'll just show you the difference that this is going to make Let's just uh, exaggerate it a little bit. And everybody loves a 50-50. Now that's the sort of difference we're going to make on this two-stage polish. And because we're only going two stages, we can't chase every deep scratch out, but we're going to try and get rid of as many as we can. But um, as you can see, it's going to make quite a difference to a car that looked quite nice. 
So uh, now I've worked out what the combination is I'm going to use. Tomorrow we'll get on and uh, get the car done. I'll see you tomorrow. Now I'm going to carry on and do the rest of the spokes, but I'm starting to come up nice and uh, shiny again. And it'll look a treat when uh, all the tyres are black and uh, rolling down the road. Right, I'm going to crack on. I ain't going to put you through the pain of watching all of it. So, see you on the next one. Hello again, I've polished the blue lid and the roof and I'm going to start on the bonnet. I'll try and um, film a bit of the bonnet being done. Um, I'll get myself all set up and uh, then I'll film some of it. But uh, the finish is looking quite good. Like I said before, the car was nice before we started, but um, as you can see, the lines are a little bit interrupted. Um, and uh, we're off polished a lot clearer. So, I'll get on with it and I'll film some of it while I'm doing it. See you in a bit. Hi, as you can see, I've now masked up all the sensitive areas, sensitive areas of the car that I don't want the mop pad to touch. Um, the eyebrows that have been put on here, don't know how much paint's on them, so I've covered them. The plastics up here have been masked off and the edges of the body to about two mil. I've taped up the middle so that I can show uh, what sort of difference we're achieving between the side I'm going to start, which is this, against what's there already. I've pre-primed uh, the pad I'm going to use. This is a stiff or stiff-ish orange pad um, with a medium cut paste. Uh, I'll be finishing down. This is on an orbital polisher and I've got a soft black uh, on a rotary which I'll be doing the second uh, cut with 
um, as this is only a two stage polish now. Normally I would have used the green pad that I've used on the boot and the roof for the first cut but the bonnet seems to be a little bit more mottled than the rest of the paint so looks like I'm going to have to cut it a little bit more. So we're going to have a go with this. I'll keep the video running for a couple of passes um, but it'll be too long to watch the whole section so I'll stop the video um, once you've seen the first few cuts um, to see how it, it's been done. So I'll carry on now and uh, we'll start we'll start close to the middle so that we can see Now that's just the first set, we'll probably do about three sets in each of these areas on the first cut and just wipe it down and have a look to see if we're actually getting enough cut. Yeah definitely making a difference. So I'm going to go on now, I'm going to do another two sets on that area. Uh, then I'll move down to this area and when I finish this area we'll take the tape off and we'll have a look. Um, so I'm going to get on now and I'll restart the video again shortly. Right, I've actually uh, carried on and completed the two stage polish on the one side of the bonnet and I've just peeled the tape off so that we can have a look at the difference um, in clarity. I'll just magnify uh, this a little bit see if this shows it a bit better but I'm sure although it doesn't look a great difference um, on film it certainly looks a lot better you know looking at it directly with the light a lot more, more clarity. And of course we've removed 90% of the, uh, the scratches that was in this side. So
very difficult to show on silver the difference but it is definitely a lot clearer so there we have it I'm going to carry on and do the other side there's no need for me to show you that because it's exactly the same um, of course this will have um, you know a bit more of the final stage again uh, where the tape's been so that there's no line so it's starting to look the same as the the rest of the car this finally has had some paint at some time by the look of it and um, the finish wasn't as good so it is coming up so I'll see you a bit later and thanks for watching I might as well just show you the uh, still got the sides to do I mean the car looks pretty good as it is but um, you know the difference on the polished parts uh, makes a massive difference and there's a green pad that I've been using on the rest of the panels so there we have it and I'll see you on the next one right the bonnets now done and looking pretty nice pleased with it considering how mottled it did look a bit frosty now we're taking a look at the headlights and as you've seen uh, on the video yesterday they look a bit grim and uh, here's one that I prepared earlier Now that's come up pretty nice, so I'm just going to start on the uh, the other one now and see if we can't get that looking as uh, clear. Probably can't tell so much without the light on them, but certainly uh, notice in the flesh. Right, see in a bit. Well that's half the car done.
Well, Ian Merck's finished and looking tidy. It's an amazing difference really for a two stage polish. Looks really bright, nice and shines. What more can you ask for?